going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with a recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a, a range matchup against Reddit Omega. Those guys are monsters over there. Definitely uh, some top, top quality uh, performers over there. And they showed it. It came away with the four star victory as you see, 87, 83. Uh, so congrats. Actually, a really good group of guys. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting this guy right here, Red Cloud. Shout out, buddy. Uh, the amount of individual work I saw this guy do to make Chicago Live happen was just absolutely astonishing. He did a fantastic job, raised a lot of money. So, uh, you know, a lot of props goes out to this guy and pretty damn good uh, clasher at the same time as well. So, uh, you know, Reddit Omega, really good war. Thank you very much. Let's just uh, check out real quick what they did. They get uh, two Town Hall 11 triples as well. They matched us on that and they clean up our tens all the way down just to Fantastic job. Uh, I think they had like six 10 versus 10 triples. Their uh, their 10s were just absolutely phenomenal. So uh, our guys did pretty good as well. I mean, uh, we had some struggles uh, down low. Um, our Town Hall 9s is just was a bit of a domino effect. And shut up, kitty. <clears throat> it was just a, it's just that domino effect, right? We did not give our 10s enough chances or at least the amount, full amount of chances they should have had to, to – uh, triple the other tens. Uh, they had to use a few dips, and it just was yeah snowball effect for us and a poor war for uh, for uh, our side. That's for sure. But it's okay. We bounce back and fight another day like usual. So we're gonna jump right in. Got a lot of replays I want to show here. Rub ra. Sorry guys, too. I got a new headset. I really hope the sound quality is better. Just spent a while trying to screw around with it, and I think it's good, but hopefully, yeah, I guess we'll find out shortly. Uh, anyhow, Rob is bringing this really cool attack. He had a six-pack award this war, by the way. Um, so he drops this uh, cold-blooded golem here. Uh, just nice, tight, tight funnel. Gets the wizards down real tight by that golem. Just take those buildings down. Drops even a Valkyrie over here to give a little bit of tanking to make sure the funnel goes down on this side. Opens up the wall. And he's going to go ahead and let eight Valkyries in with some bowlers. So this is basically like a Gova, um, uh, Gova Lobo, I guess. Um, really just a variation of a Go Valo. Really nice job here. Get, let's, gets the jump spell down. These Valks are going to walk right in with these bowlers. Does get a bit of a split, but down you, uh, goes air defense number two already. So looking good for 16 balloons on this back end. Just needs to make sure his troops get on over to this queen chamber where this jump is already down. He's got the heels down. Here comes a king. Here comes some Valks. Jump it in. Queen's about to lock on. Poison spelled nice and hastily. He goes down right on top of those heroes. So down goes that defensive queen, and then down goes that defensive king in one sec. Queen's doing her thing over on this side with a couple bowlers. Still two air defense up, but at this point in the raid, a third is about to go down to this little king squad here. And as soon as the bowler and queen bust through, the next uh, defense they're going to target is that next air defense. So he's just starting to sprinkle the balloons in just to, uh, as far out of range of that last air defense as possible. Doing a little bit of protecting of the um, remainder of his troops there in the core. A couple more down, uh, but the four o'clock area just pincering in. Saves a few for cleanup. Really smart there, Rob. Nice cleanup wizard down there. Don't think there's anything funny up there. Um, you know, so just a matter of this one Tesla, one arch tower to go. He's got way too many balloons for that. Lots of cleanup in the bag. Just absolutely smash this base, Rob. Nice job, buddy. Three stars in the bag. Right on. So moving on here. Number 25 I got marked down. It's Chad Fowler. Ah, Chad does a really good job uh, with air. He's he's always loved his pentas. If uh, if he sees a if he sees a way to quad Lalo your base or penta your base, he's gonna do it. So he throws down on Zapquake. He is literally gonna suicide some heroes right in at this queen chamber. And goes his king, and goes his queen. Out comes the clan castle instantly, right into that poison. So his king and queen are essentially going to suicide to take down uh, those aforementioned units. Goes ahead and drops this giant and a balloon there. Takes down the mortar. Now the idea with that was he wanted, uh, didn't want any of the balloon straying away from this air defense. Because as you're going to see here in one second, in come the first hounds. One and two. Sprinkling in the troops, a few at a time, right on top of that Tesla. Uh, so he wanted to push them up to the air defense, and they went over to the to the uh, arch tower. But no big deal. Drops two more balloons, gets it going right in on top of the air D. Down it goes. <clears throat> so those hounds are going to shift over to this three o'clock section. So he goes ahead and drops a third hound. 
Rage right away, right on top of the Tesla farm. Good job at that. Smashes into this compartment here. Two more balloons on the outside to keep everything funneling in towards that air defense there. Does lose these balloons on the on this side, but it's okay. Still a six in the bag with a little bit of cleanup troops and a hay spell here. So just has to make his way over here. Takes down that air defense. Has still a max hound he's dropping here. I would have got that in a touch earlier, I was thinking. You kind of, at this point, you, you got to think that you're, you're looking pretty good. I would have dropped it early over top of these wizard towers and just dropped two balloons on each wizard tower. But <laughs> how do you critique Bliss? He's got puffs everywhere, loons everywhere. <laughs> just absolutely, like all around the base, all in a circle. Just absolutely crushed it, Chad. Nice job, buddy. Boom. Another tree in the bag. Red on. It's moving up to number 22. Bucko. One of 2.0's newest additions at the Town Hall 9 level. Just absolutely crushing it with just these standard attacks. Double jump, Gobaho. Loving it. Gets a nice funnel created. <laughs> of course, bowlers are granted. <laughs> Always a granted. At this point in the game, at least. It really interests to see what the September update is. I know they're not necessarily going to nerf any units, but they're definitely going to be releasing some sort of, or I probably I'd imagine a combination of things. Um, I bet we're going to see a new defense. And I, I don't know. It, people have said that Supercell's release things. I've learned to know with Supercell. I don't believe it until I see it. So no matter what's kind of been said at this point about the September update, uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see... Uh, at least one, if not two, new defenses, um, and maybe just some slight tweaks. But I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I think they're going to do a good job. Uh, like I said before, I really think the game is in the right direction at this point in time. Uh, it just needs a little, little tweak in here and there. Um, close that. <clears throat> and as you can see, Bucko just absolutely overruns this base with all these hogs here. Um, you know the double jump lets it let him in basically essentially from this uh, bottom three o'clock section up to almost 12 o'clock leaving only a few small compartments for the hogs to make their way through clean up time but he's got hogs everywhere clean up troops everywhere queen at full health with the ability just absolutely crushed it bucko good job tree in the bag all right go one up good old leo Video's usually been using a lot of air, but I wanted to show this one. This is a very interesting base design. I guess you got to just try what you can nowadays at Town Hall 9. Um, but it's like this aisle of compact buildings just, I, I don't know if he's trying for like a, a Valk trap or I'm not, I'm not 100% what the, um, on what the theory was behind this build, but <clears throat> anyhow, as you can see, Leo's just going to take advantage of it. He drops the Valks and they do stand on the wall for a sec, but as soon as that expo goes down, they all just boom, run right down here. Here comes that clan castle, instant poison, going to take care of that. Heal spell goes down, going to keep uh, the Valkyries up. So looking good. Bowler's in there, Queen is in there. They're just getting great value. Just Queen is going shopping, just walking down the aisle, doing a little grocery shopping here, picking off everything as she goes. Um, and the other thing I liked about this attack was this, these dragons. Uh, I think he was going to try and sort of maybe do a drag swap. I, I don't know. Again, I'm not 100% sure on what the idea was uh, completely here. But these two dragons just get great value, just cleaning up all over the base, taking down these uh, high hit point buildings. I think he had meant to drop them a little bit earlier on this queen chamber, do a bit of a queen swap. Because if you just drop them right on the corner of this camp, I think they would have went here, here, and in or at least close enough that the queen would start shooting them anyhow leo crushed it nice job little troll tesla up there taken care of it's <clears throat> tree in the bag beautiful <clears throat> let's go number 19 mk the lalo master apparently uh doing this uh, Gola Lobo. <clears throat> so goes ahead and drops this um, one for one trade on the cannon. I thought that was good planning. Definitely take, <laughs> definitely trade a balloon for a cannon any day of the week, especially when it helps make sure your uh, golems do not go walking. And obviously it was a cleanup attack. So 
uh, just drops the golems immediately on the Tesla. So good job with that. A couple funneling wizards. They get caught up by the heroes there. But see the wizards take out the queen. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Two wizards took care of that queen. No problem. Down she goes. Uh, funnel gets created, right? Queen's going to end up hung up down here for a little bit. Uh, but gets that poison now nice and quick on those Valkyries. Just needs to get the queen in there to take care of that baby dragon. She's locked on now. So down goes the baby dragon that's under the poison. Not really doing much to the troops in there. Still has that king ability. He's about to hit it. There it goes. Heal spell is down too. Helping take care of the barbs. Always nice when you can get a heal spell down when you have to use your king ability. Because it just gets double duty with those barbs. It really helps protect them from that splash damage. Finally the heal spell goes down. So king starts taking damage again. But that whole apartment is now cleared out. And the queen stepping up to do some work too. She's going to end up I believe getting this air defense. And most of that expo down before she goes down. So he's already got the uh, Lava Hounds in on this uh, sort of 10 o'clock air defense. Balloons are in on uh, all sides. Nice little haste spell pushing everything there. <clears throat> down goes the air defense. And really this base is GG. Now at this point, MK, I know, I know you're just getting a little excited for this last, last section down here. But you still got four balloons. I definitely... Um, would have kept one in the bag knowing that these builders huts are in the corners something that i know i've been burnt on a couple times uh people definitely are going back to trying to hide builders huts on you in certain corners and stuff like that so many 99 percent i know out there have been had because of just that one builders hut in the corner that all it really took was an archer or just saving a cleanup troop in the planning because uh, really you have all these balloons now all in this clump you definitely could have saved a couple of them but is what it is mk the new lalo master Smash bases. <laughs> but you got a little worried when those air skellies bust out too. <laughs> oh. But that, my friends, is tree in the bag for MK. Good job, man. Uh, all right. So our only 10 versus 10 triple. That was kind of our demise. Again, the 9s didn't really help the 10s out with that fact very much. So... Blame is all around. Our 11s were just studs this war, though. They really made this war respectable, at least. <laughs> Otherwise, if it weren't for them, we were in big, big trouble as a, with a four-star loss as is. So, anyhow, uh, Pauly J going in here. Usually likes the dragons, but here I think he spotted these level 2 infernos. He was thinking he's going to get pretty good value on the level 2 miners. So, he goes ahead <clears throat> and gets this golem in, gets the king down, gets the funnel created, lets that queen on in right behind. She's going to get sucked in to that mortar there and I believe walk around here. Um, so that was a little unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter because the poison is going to take care of that balloon. You don't need any sort of air um, air uh, shooting troop in there to take care of the balloon. Um, going to have to get, he already hit that king ability, really has to get through that golem. He wanted to get that inferno tower with this entry here. And the king just pitters out just before he gets to it. But realistically, Still not looking that bad. So in come these miners now. He's kind of just four finger dropped all from the uh, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock section. And they're going to slowly work their way through this base. Now a huge piece of these miners I'm finding is just patience with your spells. Um, because they disappear underground. It's really difficult to spot where your larger group of miners is. So you really, really, really got to pay attention to them. Don't waste your spells. Wait for those high hit point buildings. Wait for big threats like a queen. Uh, make sure you're getting those heals down. Kind of sucks because uh, when they're under the Inferno uh, target, obviously the ones getting hit by the Infernos are not being healed. Uh, but there's other ones. That's the thing, though, is you, you sometimes still need to heal them because the ones that aren't getting hit by the Inferno Towers are going to be getting the benefit of the heal spell. So you definitely, definitely want to be very careful with your heals, but um, you, you can't be afraid to heal them at the same time. need to use them so he doesn't quite get that Inferno Tower down. The King had only finished it off. Hey, eh, Polly? You would have been just perfect right now, but you got way too many miners left for this Inferno Tower to stand a chance. Wizard Tower is going to help it out a little bit, but just enough. Takes down that Wizard Tower. Tree in the bag for PJ. Nice job, man. All right, a couple 11 versus 11 trips here. I believe they're sort of similar attacks. Um... Oh, no, I lied. I'm pretty sure this one's more mass minor. The other one's more mass bowler. 
So goes ahead and gets the golem in with that giant nice and early. Four finger drop of the miner instantly. Gets the bowlers down almost like an escort going in with this grand warden with all this stuff. Just, just a nice... Nice push right into the center of this base is essentially using the four finger drop of the miners to uh, to funnel the kill squad, right? Uh, you're going to let those work their way around the outsides on both sides. And if you see the way he planned this, it's because the miners are out of Inferno Tower range for so long. That Inferno Tower got taken down. The miners on this side didn't have never been in Inferno Tower range. These ones just got there now. They're trying to work that way through the expo. I believe he loses a good chunk of them on this side. But right as they get to it, the Queen and Bowlers get there too. And they start helping out as well. <clears throat> Down goes the Inferno. Miners continue their way on. On both sides of the base. Just going to end up meeting up here about 8 o'clock. This base is done for. Smashy, smashy. Still has that Queen ability. Boom. Out of boy SF tree in the back. Right, number one getting taken down by my boy Team Unique. Nice little base here, but uh Unique just decides to bring uh basically like I think it's five or six bowlers on each side with the healers. Good old-fashioned mass bowler here. Get that funnel created, right? Get everything going towards uh, this center section. Open things up with the jump spell. Going to go ahead and let in a CC of giants, I believe. Just walk those into the base. Yep, there they go. King goes down. Queen goes down. Warden goes down. Let's drop the rest of those bowlers. Let everything jump right into this Inferno Tower uh, compartment. Start getting value. Get that town hall. Get an expo. Get a huge horseshoe of value right around this entry here. And then he's just going to continue on. He's got another jump spell. He's going to get down here in one second. Bam, bam, bam. Or not. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> if he had jumped, everything would have went into the core. But uh, it doesn't matter. He's using it for the back end, I guess. I'm not 100% sure why he's saving that jump. Maybe he forgot. Maybe he's just swagging the jump, I suppose. Uh, has the king in there. Beats through all that stuff. He does end up, I believe, losing the troops on this side. But there's far too much that's split off down here. There's all these giants still alive. Um, there goes that jump spell I was talking about. Maybe he was purposely saving it just to make sure that the Inferno Tower compartment gets locked. Or gets unlocked, I should say. Because now those giants get in there. They're doing a little bit of tanking for stuff. Hits the Queen ability. Down goes the Inferno. So he's just got one, two, three, four, I think five, six bowlers down here. They're going to take care of these buildings. Everything's just going to work their way up to 12 o'clock. Finish this base off. Bam, bam, bam. Beautiful. Smashy, smashy. The late jump. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was 100 percent worth it or not, or if it was intentional or not. But whatever. Tree in the bag for Team Unique. Very, very nice tree, buddy. Nice seeing these 11 on 11s happen now. And again, it's that's what I was saying. I, I feel like the game's going in the right direction. It just just needs a few tweaks, um, whatever that may be. Hopefully, uh, we will find out in September. Anyways, thanks a lot, uh, Cloud. Uh, always a pleasure matching your clan, buddy, and uh, Reddit Omega. Uh, until next time, that'll do it here for Wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you beg that next three-star. Until then, I'm out.